Dave gave an update on Roman Reigns last night. Reigns is off the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Will be wrestling at other pay-per-views this summer. And uh, he will be doing some TV to build. <laughs> That's nice. Nice to see he'll be doing some angles to build up those matches. But yes, he's going to be working far fewer dates. And uh, he's essentially going to be doing the same number of dates that uh, Lesnar was doing when Lesnar was around, which was not very many dates. And, uh, I mean... Congratulations bro. on the deal, brother. I mean, it's all nice and all. I have, I have nothing against Roman Reigns. Good for the guy. But, bro, so you guys did a unification match, and you unified the two main titles into one title, and now the guy's never going to be around. Even when Lesnar was never around, you had the other champion. So essentially, we've iced, we've iced the WWE and Universal Championships, and uh, now who cares? We rely, who cares? we rely on the uh, U.S. title. Who cares? Anyone know who the U.S. champion is? And no. we rely on the Intercontinental Championship. Anybody know who the Intercontinental Champion is? I think Ricochet. And he's in uh, bad matches. Yes, it's actually uh, Ricky Sh- Ricochet in theory. Ricochet, yes. Those are your top champions in <laughs> WWE as they attempt to sell tickets. <laughs> they, on I'd the rather road. see Ricky Shane Page as the Intercontinental Champion right now. They don't care about their belts. Their props is part of the game. As long as Roman or Brock has got one, or maybe Drew, it doesn't really matter. Well, hold on a second. They Fine. do care about their belts because. They had to have not as a, they a had to have point. a Raw and a SmackDown World Champion. They had to have a Raw and a SmackDown second. Why did they not unify these belts a long time ago? Because they felt, well, if we go on the road, we've got to have these championship matches. If we have a Raw show and a SmackDown touring show, we have to have championship matches. They believe but it was a that they need argument, Brian. championship matches. But it was a weak argument from them because their championships, if you look at it on paper, didn't really mean anything. They would have the belt on guys sometimes. I mean, your Jinder Mahal examples, guys like that, that like... This isn't going to benefit you going out on the road that this person's your champion or the fact that you have two belts. What would you rather see, some geek with this belt or see Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar? So it was a weak argument to begin with. I just... I, at this point, with how they run their business and the Muppet show that they like to create, this hybrid sports entertainment universe that, that you know... S- saturates their fan base and makes them happy, I mean... Let them do what they want. That's how they're going to do it. That's how they feel about it. Fine. They don't need multiple belts. They don't need to try to fake push the U.S. or I.C. titles. I mean, we've gone through that how many times, and you know where that always leads. So, you know, it's nice to have one, but come on. here's the reality, Mike. You're not a WWE fan. I'm not you're, standing up. You're for not him. stand up for WWE. I'm not. So I'm sure that yes, in in if you look at if you look at WWE, the way you look at every other promotion, then you're right. But you you this is the thing that like, you know, I had the big argument. I've had the argument for Wait, months. You're gonna now. try to tie WWE together with a wrestling Hold on. promotion? I've I've had this argument with people for like a month now about Cody and the usage of Cody. And I'm still hearing it, how badly they're using Cody. Cody's lost. He he couldn't beat Theory. And, you know, he won. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He, hold on. Out, hold on. Who's hold on. saying this? Bro. If you go to the thread for any of our shows over and over and over again, Cody is not being used well. They've screwed up Cody. Blah, blah, blah. And listen, this is a prime example of... If you want to put on your New Japan glasses and watch WWE, if you want to put your AEW glasses on and watch WWE, if you want to put your Mid-South glasses on and watch WWE, yeah, they haven't done a good job with Cody or anybody. But if you put your WWE glasses on, if you'll go, oh, why do we have to, uh, you know, grade WWE on a curve? Yeah, of course we do. Of course we have to grade WWE on a curve. And the fact of the matter is, the way that WWE books... They are doing a better job with Cody than anyone in the entire company outside of Roman Reigns. Anybody. So, yes, you have to grade on a curve. And, yes, if you look at it in a traditional manner, these belts are meaningless. These belts are useless. However, stand up for WWE. You deserve it. You still got it. Hey, everyone, stand up and sing my song. I'm a heel. They do it. Okay? This audience... This audience, these belts 
mean something. Why? I don't know. But the performers, they're hardworking. They deserve their belts to fans. They get into this stuff. I don't know why, but they do. So the fact that we don't yeah. have a world champion <laughs> that is going to be working out shows, going to live events, it's ridiculous. You must have a champion, but they don't. You worked real hard to get around to, to get to that, and you brought Cody into it, and that was it's that all was true. Impressive. For, you have to grade WWE impressive. on a curve. You I, have to look at no. WWE the way their well, fans well, look you, at WWE, not how just, their non-fans look at it. I I don't know even what you were arguing there. Like that, these belts mean something to their fans. They're not Brian, meaningless, Brian. But their fans also, if you said, here's this big story with these two people, guess what? Roman's not going to be here, but Brock's going to be back for X show at this place, and he's going to be facing this person with no title on the line. Would they care? They wouldn't care. They don't care. They wouldn't care I if Brock Lesnar showed up at a house show? What? And the fact that there's no title, they wouldn't care. Well, sure, Roman if you Reigns had Brock. Being on TV and not having a championship, you're acting as if fans care about the U.S. or IC titles. They care about these titles. No, they don't. Because the company that, 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 that they love so much that they stand up for, they're just props in the game. So they just had a pay-per-view where they initially teased we're going to, whoever wins, they're going to get all the belts. And then that quietly get a, got, went away. And there were no titles on the line. And did anybody care? No. Their fans didn't care at all. So I, the fact that they're not going to have a belt, who cares? It doesn't matter. This isn't AEW. Now, if AEW went on tour and there were no Hangman Page title defenses, that would mean something. Like WWE doing it, it doesn't mean a damn thing at all. Well, so you know I what? I don't get that now. And hold on. No, because you brought this guy up. I don't know, and I guess I'm not paying attention in the same circles, that Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes has been a failure or has been used incorrectly or doesn't hit in the same way that, what? I don't know. I haven't Pay seen attention, that. I haven't, paid I, I haven't paid attention, I guess, to the stupidest people and the dumbest, most ignorant takes. You've got to be kidding me. No. You've pay attention, got to dude. Be kidding this me. is not this Austin is not an obscure Theory, take. He couldn't beat Austin Theory, so yes. they're using Cody Rhodes incorrectly. Yes. Yes. Where have you been, dude? Where have you been? Obviously with rational, sane, smart people. Well, listen, when we when we start running house shows this summer and there's no championships, no no Roman Reigns championship match or anything like that on the house shows or Brock, and we will track the attendance and we will see how it does with nothing. I realize that they sell tickets on the brand, but like these titles actually do mean something to this audience. Awesome Theory may not mean much, but you know what? If they did Awesome Theory versus Kofi Kingston and Kofi Kingston won that title, those fans would go crazy. They would chant, you deserve it. They would have a big celebration in the in the crowd. Yes, that would happen. And Vinny has driven all the way here, and his camera's not working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. All Riveting. right. Yep, we go that way. Uh, nope, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh. the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, oh, there hey. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.